I just want to start this video by saying that I totally redeemed myself. I thought Leon was going to be just fine and he ended up being completely OP. I thought Gene was going to be super strong and then when he was released he was like totally weak. I thought Carl was going to completely change the meta and he was basically useless. But I have successfully predicted that Rosa is just downright incredibly OP. You know who else is just downright incredibly OP? Today's video sponsor. Age of Magic is a new mobile RPG available on iOS and Android. And it's totally free. It's got mind-blowing graphics, a super cool storyline, and so much more. There are over 50 heroes, including this angry raccoon mage. I mean, come on guys, it's a raccoon mage. You can assemble your own squad of five heroes to discover their stories, compete in massive tournaments, and test your skills in the Tomb of Horrors. If you dare, it's a pretty creepy place. Thank you so much to Age of Magic for supporting my channel by sponsoring today's video. You can also help support my channel by downloading Age of Magic using the link in the description below. And if you use my link, you'll also get a free bonus hero named Grok. He rocks. And if you, if you click below, then <laughs> you rock too. <laughs> Okay, as you may have noticed, Rosa is completely overpowered, and I imagine she's going to get pr nerfed pretty hard in the upcoming balance change. In fact, I would not be surprised if Brawl Stars launched a super quick balance change really soon just to tone her down because she's so incredibly strong. So push her to 500 now while she's just ridiculous. Now, originally I was going to do a video today on how to, on tips to playing Rosa. Honestly though, she's just super simple and incredibly strong and it really just comes down to careful positioning and uh, button mashing. She just does really well when you mash her buttons, guys. I think everyone can agree that Rosa is just ridiculously too strong right now. Now, you can certainly try to keep your distance from Rosa, and if you can prevent her from, char from charging up her super, then you're in a really good spot. But if she charges up her super, she is downright indestructible. And if you ask me, she is the strongest brawler in the history of Brawl Stars. I even think that she is stronger than when Leon was first released into the game. She's just so strong it's it's nuts now today we're going to talk about how she could be nerfed to be a little bit more balanced i have a lot of ideas on how supercell could nerf her and i'd like to know what kind of ideas you guys like the most you can think of this video as like your own personal way to get some feedback to supercell because i'm going to be reading through some of the comments and then just kind of like summarizing what everybody thinks and then uh, kind of giving that to them and personally i do not think that rosa needs very many changes to her like hp or her regular attack she's the fourth tankiest roller in the game uh, with El Primo being like the first and her attack is most comparable to El Primo's attack. She deals the same amount of damage as El Primo with a single attack, his four punches versus her three punches, but El Primo can actually unload his attacks faster and he actually has a faster reload speed, meaning that he's actually going to be able to consistently deal more damage than Rosa. I would say that El Primo is a very bra balanced brawler right now in regards to his attack when compared to his HP because he has such a short range. Typically, you don't actually see El Primo in competitive matches very often, except for on a few uh, different maps or modes because of that short range. Now granted, Rose's range is a little bit longer than El Primo's, and I actually think that people think that it's shorter than it actually is, um, but I think that her attack range is really fine. I think that once people recognize, like, in-game, like, you, you know that it's longer than El Primo's, but, like, you don't think that it's, like, when you're playing, you don't view it as longer than El Primo's. And once people start to actually view it as longer than El Primo's, they'll learn to stay further away. And her attack range and regular attack won't actually seem so menacing. When it really comes down to it is that without her super, Rosa would be very balanced and arguably even an underpowered brawler when you compare her to a lot of the other brawlers without their supers as well. <laughs> but when you add her super to the mix, she just... Oh man, she is so strong! Now because of this, I don't actually think that Rosa's attack or HP really should be nerfed at all. Granted, it could still be an option. Maybe she has too much offensive ability when her super is so, like, defensive. When it comes to balancing brawlers, my number one concern, aside from, like, actually making sure that they're balanced, is that the brawler is fun to play. And without her super, Rose is incredibly boring to play. Like, you play Rosa without her, her super, and it's just like, 
yeah, you're slow. You don't have a super like El Primo to like jump around the map, and I guess in that regards you're kind of slow. It, it's really easy for players to like keep their distance from you, and you know, you, you guys get the idea. Where she's fun to play is the fact that she can pull off absolutely insane plays that no other brawler can because of her ability to survive literally anything that any brawler throws at her. And even like three enemy brawlers could throw at you. Like it's it, <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's nuts. Never have I ever played solo showdown with energy drink and seen a Leon with 10 power-ups and <laughs> the energy drink and thought, hey, it would be a good idea to go run up to him and take him out at a close range. Except with Rosa when she has her super. It's ridiculous. Like, it's nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Honestly, it's actually kind of hilarious and it's, I've never felt so overwhelmingly overpowered with any other brawler that I just like, didn't even care if an enemy brawler had an energy drink in Showdown. It's, it's, it's really fun, it's really exciting. She can pull off ridiculously ridiculous plays in a 3v3 situation where she can literally, like, single-handedly take down an entire enemy team because she can actually charge up her super. Uh, then she uses her super, three players can be firing at her, she'll take out one of them, then she charges up her super, immediately slams that down as soon as the first one is out, and then she, like, chase down the second one and chase down the third one and takes them all out all the while the entire enemy team is firing off at her. It's, it's hilarious and it's super cool and it's a lot of fun and totally unique for Rosa in comparison to all the other brawlers in the game. Leon's kind of similar in that regard a little bit, um, but it, it makes her really fun and I really like that and I want her to be really fun to play. I want her super to be enjoyable and unique. So the question is, how can you actually change her super so that it is not too strong, but also so that it's still fun? Si sometimes the simplest option really is the best option. And one simple option is to make it so that her super takes more hits to charge up. This would make it so that her super is still very strong, but also make it so that she can't use it as frequently. This could also fix that issue of her permanently having her super charged up because she's able to like recharge her super over and over again. Another simple solution is to decrease the duration of her super from six seconds to like five or four seconds. This would require a little bit better timing when using her super, but could also allow her to pull off some really cool plays, especially if you actually timed it correctly. The third simple solution is to decrease the damage reduction from 80%, which is nuts, down to 70 or even 60%. For reference to that, Daryl's star power is 40% damage reduction for 3.5 seconds. And I don't think that her super, I think that her super should be much stronger than Daryl's star power. Supers typically should be better than a star power. You guys get the idea. Now, because Rosa already has a lot of HP to begin with, this could also tweak her super a bit without actually removing the usefulness of her super too much. You would have to like make sure that you're using your super when she's at max health rather than like at half of her health. Like it wouldn't, you know, you guys get the idea. Personally, if I were in charge of nerfing Rosa, I, I would take a pretty liberal um, stance of trying to nerf her because she's just so strong right now. I would decrease her super duration from 6 seconds down to 4.5 seconds and then decrease her damage reduction from 80% down to 70% and I would also make it so that she would require 1 to 2 more punches out of, you know, the 3 punches for a single attack in order for her to charge her super. I know that that sounds like a lot to for one brawler but like she's ridiculously strong think about how leon was released and he was like oh yeah this is so strong and then supercell's like we'll nerf him a little bit here and then we'll nerf him again and then <laughs> okay let's keep on throwing out some nerfs on leon because oh he was really strong i think rose is stronger than leon was i think that she needs a very strong nerf to make it so that she's not so incredibly overpowered she should be she's she's Arguably the lowest skill cap brawler in the game. Literally the lowest skill cap brawler. Um, that, you know, you could argue some different brawlers, but she's at least really close to that. I think she should have high reward in low trophy areas where people don't re re realize how to, like, you know, keep their distance from her. And she should be very like map specific or map mode dependent in the higher trophy areas and I think that she needs right now she's just strong everywhere and I think that she needs kind of a a little bit of a strong nerf now 
there are some more creative suggestions that I'm curious to know what you guys think of, okay? So the first idea that's a little bit more creative is something that somebody suggested to me on Twitter. The idea is that rather than her super being a damage reduction, what if it was actually changed to a shield that actually has its own amount of HP instead of that damage reduction. Now there would be two ways for you to remove her shield. The first way would be to actually get that shield's HP down to zero. Or the second option is that once the six seconds ran out, then whatever remainder of the shield um, HP that was left would just like disappear, you know? And it's pretty easy to see that, you know, that pink thing comes up on top of her. That could be her shield that increases her HP. Personal, let's say the amount of HP is 7,000, so that's double what her regular HP actually is. So, if she had her super, you could still take her out, but only if you were able to actually burn through two Rosa's worth of HP, assuming she was actually at max HP when she actually used the super. This would definitely change the way that you played Rosa in certain circumstances, so I'm curious to what you guys actually think of this. For example, right now, if you get Rosa down to 500 HP and she throws down her super there's a chance that you can take her out if you have the firepower to take out 2.5 thousand HP but if her super was changed to a shield she would instantly have 7.5 thousand HP and chances are you wouldn't actually be able to take her out once again unless you were able to burn through all that um, HP that's three times the HP uh, in comparison to the first example however as Rosa's super is right now if she has all 7,000 HP and she throws down her super you have to melt through five times her normal HP which is the equivalent of 35,000 HP in those six seconds. And that is why she's so incredibly strong and even three enemy brawlers firing off at her at the same time can't take her out. But if her super was changed to a 7,000 HP shield mechanic, you'd only have to melt through two times her HP instead of the five times. Now, while that's still a ton of health, it is definitely manageable to do for a team of three players. And like I said right now, even three players have a really hard time melting through Rosa when she uses her super at max HP. So once again, that would actually be like, that would change the way that you play Rosa. Would you like that change to Rosa? Or is this the kind of thing that you would prefer to wait until Supercell wants to put out an actual shield brawler? Maybe one that's actually considered a tank, you know, that actually has a higher base HP? I don't know. Rose is pretty freaking tanky, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and talk about the second idea. The second idea to nerfing her is to make it so that she cannot charge her super while she's actively using her super. Now, my biggest hesitation to this change is the fact that every single brawler in the game is able to use their super in one way or another to help charge up another super. Even brawlers like Leon or Pam, who have a super that don't actually deal damage, can at least use their super to give them an advantage so that they can recharge their super faster. So, while this is not my favorite idea, it certainly does improve the situation where Rosa uses her super to, you know, once again, take out one player, recharge her super, <laughs> take out the second player, recharge her super, just, you know, basically, she's invincible. This would remove her ability to be completely invincible. Granted, I think that a, 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 if a team of three players are all staying so close to Rosa that she can take them all out, um, then they probably deserve to die, but you guys get the idea. Would you like this change to Rosa? Would it make it more frustrating and less fun for you to actually play her? Or do you think they should just like increase the amount of hits that it takes for her to charge up her super so that they are, then they are like indirectly making it less likely that she'll be able to uh, super cycle over and over again. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about is her star power. Her star power makes it so that she heals 300 health per second when she's hidden by a bush. And the thing is, is that if she has her super up and she's hiding in a bush, she is completely broken, overpowered OP. That's right, OP times two. <laughs> Because that's like healing 1.5 thousand health every second when she has her super up in a bush. And you could argue that that makes her completely invincible for those six seconds. Now, there's that's a complex set of requirements uh, in order for her to re re reach that invincibility. But it's still really crazy powerful for a star power. I think that her star power either needs to be buffed, or no, sorry, nerfed, so that it's only 200 HP per second. 
or it needs to be tweaked so that the healing won't actually take place while her super is activated. Okay, guys, now I have covered a ton on how Rosa needs some changes, but I really want to know what you guys think the best way is to make her balance. Once again, I'm going to be taking the feedback from this video and actually giving it to Supercell, so make sure you put it down all of your thoughts and really think about the best way for you to actually nerf Rosa to make her fun while also balance. Additionally, make sure that if you see a comment that you agree with, that you actually take the time to like it so that I am much more likely to actually see it. Also, before you leave, make sure you subscribe so you don't Miss future Brawl Stars videos. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.